Hello, welcome to Coonrod's Corner. This is John Coonrod with Rogers Corporation Advanced Circuit Materials. I am a marketing development engineer. And for the next few minutes, I'm going to talk to you about high DK materials or high dielectric constant materials used in the printed circuit board industry. Now, high dielectric constant materials are usually uh, accepted to be in the range of about six for a dielectric constant or higher. And in the industry, uh, generally, most of the materials that are seen in the industry have a dielectric constant in the range of about two to 10. Rogers, we have a little bit uh, wider range uh, of uh, dielectric constant materials, and we have some down around 1.96, some as high as 12.3. But in general, that's kind of the range that you see for dielectric constants in the high frequency printed circuit board industry. Now, what high frequency, or I'm sorry, what uh, the high dielectric constant material will do for you is one thing, is it will uh, reduce the wavelength, and then also it uh, has the ability to slow the pro wave propagation, as well as condense fields. Now, some of that sounds like it might not be a good thing to slow down the wave, but in reality, there are designs where you purposely want to have a slower wave. So the, uh, the microwave industry and the microwave designers, they generally design circuits uh, related to features that are related to wavelength. And very often, it's quarter wavelength or a half wavelength of a frequency that they're working with. Now, in the case of a filter, as an example that I've shown here, this is a edge-coupled bandpass filter. And uh, essentially what it's doing is each one of these arms is a little resonator, and this resonator is the physical length of half wavelength for the frequency intended to be used at. So this little resonator resonates and generates a lot of energy, and it couples energy over to the next one. And then what happens is you stair-step the energy through by coupling energy from one resonator to another, and it's all based on one half wavelength of the frequency that you're intended to move through this filter. And what, high, what the uh, high dielectric constant materials can do for you is that this physical length will now become smaller if you change the design and make it on a higher dielectric constant material. So as the higher dielectric constant materials use, this physical length gets shorter because the wavelength, wavelength actually gets shorter when using the high DK materials. Now, I've done several different models, actually built so, several circuits like this to prove out the concept. What I've showed here is actually uh, a model, uh, actually two models, of the, the same filter. And if you plug these in, you will get the same filter response, where it will be a bandpass filter at 2.5 gigahertz. And both of these filters would do the exact same thing, except they are very different in size, as you can see. So the lower dielectric constant material is about 37% bigger than the higher dielectric constant material, about a 10.8. And that is a, uh, a typical reduction that you can see with this difference in dielectric constant. Now, in the microwave industry, there's many different uh, uh, features and many different type of circuits. Some of them are a quarter wavelength, sometimes a half wavelength, and it depends on uh, what the circuit design is intended to do. Another common circuit design is the uh, microstrip patch antenna. And what I have shown here on the screen is a very simple patch element. And you can see the difference is when you design this patch element to be an antenna at 2.5 gigahertz, what happens when you use a material of a three dielectric constant, you can see the size differences. And then you go to a material of a 6.5 dielectric constant and a material of a 10.8 dielectric constant. And what happens is you get a reduction of size about 48% when you go from three to 6.5 dielectric constant, and then about 68% when you go all the way up to 10.8 for dielectric constant. Now, one drawback to high dielectric constant materials is the feed line. The, the feed line is what uh, feeds the energy to this resonator, and that's going to have to get more narrow as you get to a higher dielectric constant. And a more narrow feed line means more losses. So there's always these continual trade-offs. Yes, you do get a smaller uh, filter. You get a smaller antenna by using high DK materials, but also the feed lines and the transmission lines that connect them, uh, they also get smaller, which means you get more losses because of that. So the high dielectric constant materials, uh, they can be used to minimize or miniaturize the circuits, as I mentioned, but they can also be used to uh, uh, use the ability to condense fields. And sometimes that is seen in couplers where the electric fields need to be more condensed to get better coupling. So you get better coupling between two features when you have more condensed fields, and therefore the high dielectric constant materials are used to do that sometimes. And then if you have an issue with radiation losses, the higher dielectric constant materials also will help with that, where you get less radiation losses with the high dielectric constant material. And uh, finally, uh, you always want to do your, your homework, obviously, because there's always trade-offs in microwave design. And uh, where you can mini miniaturize and get better coupling with high DK materials, you're also going to get a more narrow conductor width for the feed line and the transmission lines, which means you're going to have a little bit more losses there. So if you'd like more information on this topic or other technical information, please uh, join us 
at our Rogers Technology Support Hub website, and we have more information there. We have articles, free software. We have a variety of uh, different topics that should be helpful. Thank you.